Good morning, everybody. I only ended my last vlog yesterday, so I feel like am I back on a roll? Am I back on a roll? Don't hold me to it. I'm on my way to a filter meeting and something really funny just happened, right? So Tommy and I had a bit of a bicker this morning. As couples do, you know, we have a baby together now. Like, there's more things to bicker about. Keeping it real, we had a little bit of an argument. Anyway, I was ready to not talk to that boy all day. I was like, I'm, I'm staying strong today. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to be the first to crack on this argument. Like, he can message me first. So I was like, going to be that, you know, strong, independent lady, like holding my ground. And then I happened to be on the way to this filter shoot, and I drove past him buying me flowers at this like cute kiosk that I always say to him like, oh my god, I really love the flowers from there, and he's never got me flowers from there before. And I drove past this ki the kiosk, and he was buying me flowers from the kiosk. <laughs> So I just rang him and we just made up because I was like, listen, you're very lucky that I drove past you at that moment because I was ready to not talk to him all day. <laughs> I was like, g up. I was like, listen, it's just, I'm not talking to him. And then I drove past him at the kiosk and I was like, bum. Not that you should just forgive your significant other though if you had an argument just for them buying you flowers, but it does always lessen the blow a little bit, doesn't it? But anyway, how are we all doing? I am going to be filming over the next couple of days Excuse me, I've got wind. I'm going to be filming a glow up video. I've got a few appointments over the next couple of days, including my hair, my teeth, and my nails, laser hair removal. These Costa cans, um, I bought them in bulk the other day. I ordered loads because I'm obsessed with them. The caramel ones are also really good, but they're so like not strong at all. And as you guys know, like I am a bit of a new coffee drinker. <clears throat> so this is like the perfect strength of coffee for me. Like it's not too strong at all, but it still has a little bit of a little bit of a kick. Yeah, I'm really excited to be vlogging. It feels really good. I just um I'm happy to be back. <laughs> So I've just arrived in Wilmslow for my hair appointment. Stage one of glow up pending. I am ready for this because Steph just took a picture of me from the back on the filter shoot. Ah! What was that? Did it... Oh my God, oh my God. Did you guys see that? It was such a green bug on my glasses. <laughs> Gross. Steph took a picture of me on the filter shoot from the back and my route not normal anyway i'm going in now just arrived at emily's salon to start this hair transformation because honestly my room i don't remember the last time it looked like this like my hair is basically black at this point like i'm a full brute up to there it's giving brunette but everyone says like pregnancy and birth and having a baby makes your hair fall out i think it is going to happen at some point but it hasn't happened yet and so far my hair is just literally flourished from pregnancy really and like it's grown so much it's gotten so much thicker and healthier um, like the length of it, that's all my natural hair. It's actually pretty mad. Everyone does say like eventually your hair does start to fall out. But what month, Emily, would you say that you would start to notice hair? Anything for, like, to me, I think it up to a year. Brilliant. Yeah. And I found out when there was that month, so I was talking about <laughs> What I'm doing right now. So Emily had a baby as well, and she said that it was at nine months when it hit her with the hair falling out. So just pray for me, guys. Totally, totally unintentional that I barely vlogged in there, but also at the same time, if you guys know me, what did you expect? Like, it was a public place, it just was never ever gonna be quite that 
on point filming but guys i'm sorry i can't even do any more talking without basically addressing the fact that i've got bangs to be fair they're quite like long bangs they're not like super short and um, we went for like a way more like layered bouncy sort of like a bit more of like a mature haircut and i feel like i really needed this change and i'm absolutely like i'm over the moon with it now i'm a mum i feel like i can't just have like that same long all one length blonde hair like i needed to switch it up a little bit so i obviously kept it shade molly may but um yeah we cut some bangs in which is like so exciting and just like a little refresh a little refresh that i needed i think really hoping that i'm going to be able to style them because you guys know i'm like such a low maintenance girly like i am not getting ready every single day so i'm still hoping that they're going to look good when i'm just like chilling at home and stuff and i can still like put them back into a bun and stuff but i'll keep you guys updated but a real part of this glow up video like i've literally had a full-on hair transformation okay this is so not a hair transformation but for me the girl that's had the same hair well no i say i've had the same hair for literally years but i changed my hair length basically more than i have hot dinners i'm short one week long the next but i've never actually like cut my natural hair in years and we've cut my natural hair to get these bangs so let me know what you think down below I specifically went downstairs to go and get my little teeth whitening shields and somehow I've managed to come back up without them. That is the most annoying thing ever when you go downstairs for something and you come manage to come back up without it. Like, how does that even happen? But good evening, guys. I'm now back from the hairdressers. I'm annoyed because um, I just got in the bath and I popped my hair up in a scrunchie so now it doesn't look fresh anymore. Like, I put, like, kinks in it and stuff, so... We restyle again tomorrow. The pace of this glow up vlog is quick because my next appointment is tomorrow, first thing. So I've had my hair appointment today and then tomorrow I'm getting my teeth done. It's quite exciting, you know, like this is something I should probably be a little bit like, I don't know, maybe like nervous about potentially. Like getting your teeth done is quite a big thing. Is it terrible that mum life is making me actually feel like it's more of a big deal that Tommy has to have Bambi literally for the whole entire day by himself? <laughs> He's totally got it under control, but like just when anyone has Bambi for the day, like for a full day, it just, um, I don't know, it's really hard for me to like switch off. Just realized I'm talking to you guys about my teeth, getting my teeth done, like you have a clue what I'm talking about. But it was actually in my last vlog that I mentioned what I'm having done to my teeth. And I haven't even spoken about it in the actual vlog that I'm getting it done. So just very quickly before I go to bed because Bambi's asleep and I want to get to sleep to get as many hours in as possible before she wakes up again. And then we're up for the day. So tomorrow I'm heading to Rue Dental, the dentist I've gone to for like three years now to have my edge bonding redone so these are my current teeth right now i feel like i'm living a deja vu because i only mentioned this in my last vlog but just for anyone that didn't see these are my natural teeth apart from the two side teeth next to my front teeth i had them slightly extended just to like make them a little bit more level but over time my teeth have just become quite discolored for me personally and um i say for me personally because i always get comments of people being like your teeth aren't even bad like you know, it's ridiculous that you've been talking about your teeth like they're bad. As I mentioned in my last vlog, I am a little bit of a perfectionist when it comes to my teeth and I just want them to look a certain way. So I'm just going to keep it transparent with you about what I'm doing to my teeth. Um, but yeah, I'm having just a few tweakments tomorrow. Um, some edge bonding, maybe some full bonding on some teeth, but whatever I get, I will tell you guys. But I just wanted to check in now because like I say, the pace of this glow up vlog, it's quick. Before I forget, so you guys can pay witness to the fact that I'm sticking to what I said about using... UK Lash for my little lash growth journey, which I'm going to keep you guys updated on. And I was also speaking to Holly, my makeup artist today, about potentially also running this through my brows, because she was like, it would technically also make your brows grow. So, should we whack a little bit on? So it says just to literally draw it on like an eyeliner and just stroke it on one continuous line on the on your like upper lash line. <sighs> Goodness me. I feel like before I had a baby, I was never really like a mood swingy kind of girl. Um, but since having Bambi, I reckon it's due to like tiredness mainly. But God, I'm such a mood swingy kind of girl at the minute. Some moments in the day or like some days I'll feel like literally the happiest person on the planet. And then suddenly like five minutes later, I just feel a bit like crap and a bit low. Also, one thing I did want to quickly just mention as well, because it's something that I've been like a little bit conscious about whilst I've like been making like, whilst I've come back to YouTube. Um... I don't want to always be filming me with Bambi. I'm more sort of choosing to vlog at the minute on the times where I'm not with Bambi and the times that I'm just by myself, just because that's what I'm used to. Um, and of course, like on days where I'm with Bambi or like the moments I'm with Bambi, I will also pick up my camera, but it's actually also really hard. Like, I'm literally with her constantly, but I'm mainly vlogging on the bits where I have a little bit of a break from her. <laughs> my mum's out there, breaks are good, and your time like for yourself 
it's good. So going to the dentist for me tomorrow and like Tommy taking over for the day, like it's good. And I've just got to like let go. But yeah, guys, I'll catch up with you tomorrow morning for a very exciting new teeth day. Night. Good morning. 7 a.m. Say good morning, chicken. What else are you going to do today? What else are you going to do today? <laughs> what else are you going to do today? What else are you going to do today? What's the new thing that you're doing now? Do you think I'm hammering along? to admit it guys but i am running rather late um i've got two croissants here for on the go because i've not had time to have breakfast i go to the dentist i don't really like to eat after i brush my teeth but this is going to be like a good four hour appointment so the two croissants are just gonna have to do um let's chat in the car because i'm actually running so late good morning guys so today is teeth day i did do a little bit of vlogging there just rushing around the house with bambi didn't know like i was rushing to be fair we were having some lovely cuddles on the sofa and she was being so chatty like every single day she wakes up i've sweat she just gets chattier and chattier and just like more vocal and those little changes like i said in my last vlog oh my god so annoying by the way i've had to literally take my vlog down i've had to take my last vlog down because everyone's commenting saying that the audio doesn't match up with the video and i'm literally so upset like i did not vlog for two days on tommy's birthday and edit that vlog getting a video up for me is such an achievement like when it doesn't go to plan and it goes up wrong like it literally broke my heart last night i was nearly having a breakdown to tommy so i've just taken it down and i'm gonna go again today when i get back from the dentist but yeah i've just quickly gone over my hair this morning with a straightener because obviously I had a bath last night and it kind of like kinked up a little bit but oh my god I'm literally loving it I mean it is literally day one with my new hair but I feel like I've managed to sort of like restyle it this morning pretty proud of myself to be honest because I've managed to get myself ready well I'm not out of the driveway yet but get out of the house and also do Bambi's morning routine and get her back down for a nap for then Tommy to carry on the day oh my god i'm praying for him i really really hope he has a good day with her like you guys know like obviously i'm saying i'm gonna vlog when i get in there now but standard molly procedure like let's be real like i probably won't be because i will no doubt poop myself and get all awkward it's so cute because now my center console is just literally full of dummies it literally breaks my heart anyway guys i'll speak to you when i get there hopefully if i've got the balls oh my god i literally can't breathe i am so unfit i'm literally speed walking to my appointment I'm here now, 15 minutes late. I'm gonna be very apologetic when I get in. It's so embarrassing. I hate being late. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the ones. Wow. So obviously we're not giving you. So obviously I'm gonna leave today looking just like that. No, no, no. <laughs> So um, if you remember, one of the things that we discussed was to kind of be quite minimal on the front six. Yes. You want the sharper look, but not too round. Yeah. Not too square either. Yeah. Remember I said it always bleeds around here? Yeah. So I'm just going to clean that up for you now. Just make sure there's no little bits of composite. I love it because that's... Like, I'm sure I will. Yeah, I'm sure you will, but it, immediately it's very dif difficult to kind of get <laughs> used to it. Obviously Tommy's looking at you right now. <laughs> What do you think? Well, you can't get a perfect as that too, can you? If you were in my position, you'd be sorry, wouldn't you? <laughs> so I think you'd be very happy. I feel like you're making me nervous. Excuse <laughs> smile. Oh my god. Have you got like a before and after? Yeah. I have. Oh. oh my god, it looks so much better. So this is before she came in. Yeah. So this is what we've had. You can put that on the screen. <laughs> yeah, See, this side, going around here, is fine, right? But then, dang. Yeah. Molly, you're going to be a bit red and soft. Yeah, one. I was just that, thinking that. That little pink, back to normal. Just give it a good clean. Okay. Keep brushing it, keep flossing. Right. The white, because we've gone white on now. Yeah. Um, imagine white carpet at home, any bit of dinner on it will be visible. So, nice. flossing, flossing regular. How long until she can eat? Straight <laughs> <laughs> it felt like it, I'm joking, it didn't really. I'll come pick it up yeah. for me. Right, um, well, and I do apologise as well for the fine, faulty towels. Yeah. Um. Sleepy Muffin. Hello, Sleepy Muffin. You must be hungry, little girl. Hi. Hi. Always smiling. Why are you always smiling? Always. Come on, monkey chops. Oh, the big 
stretch. Oh. Oh. Hello guys, I am just back from the dentist. I know this is probably not like the teeth reveal that you all expected. I did do a little bit of a teeth reveal in the dentist, but basically it didn't really go to plan, did it? It didn't really go to plan. Basically, as you probably will have seen, um, Tommy and Bambi ended up at the dentist with me. <laughs> Listen, this is just the reality of it. Like sometimes things with the baby just don't go to plan. And I think I mentioned yesterday, Bambi has got into a bit of a habit of not liking to take bottles off Tommy. Um, she just gets really, really fussy with him. And I don't know if it's because like, We've been trying to figure it out. I don't know, I, 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 it literally could be anything. It could just be the fact that, maybe it's just the fact that I breastfed her and then obviously I do a lot of the bottles with her. So she's kind of just used to like me doing it. And like she kind of associates me with feeding time obviously because we did start as a breastfeeding journey. Toes! <laughs> this is not at all like me being stereotypical or like sexist in any way whatsoever. But like when you're that baby's mum, you do have a bit of like a different, how do I explain it? Like it's a mother's touch, isn't it? Like, and I don't know if I'm gonna get in trouble for saying that, but you know, it is a mother's touch sometimes and she associates me with feeding time because like I say, we breastfed. So Tommy and I have said that from now onwards, he is gonna do her bottles, well, a lot more bottles because obviously we really need her to get out of the habit of only liking to feed like have her bottles with me because that's not going to work because like today was ridiculous like we can't do that again like especially say for example if I go away he wants to be able to have her by himself um so yeah anyway didn't really go to plan at the dentist so as much as I probably would have been bad at vlogging anyway and if, even if that situation didn't happen um I do have a bit of an excuse like my whole family turned up for the dentist appointment and we had a whole family meet up didn't we that's her the witch doctor he didn't love me nice are well, you yeah. gonna kiss and make up? <laughs> what happened this morning, Bam Bam? <laughs> I said you two gate crashed my dentist appointment. <laughs> she gate crashed it because she didn't want to take any milk off Dada. Babe, mean? please take your hand out your pants. You can't see, you can't see. Anyone else's partner do that? Like, just constantly have their hands down the pants? It's warm down there. Well, it's not appropriate. I feel like the story of my life on vlogs at the minute is watching Bambi on the monitor. <laughs> I'm just hoping that she doesn't wake up, but she's literally awake. She's, she couldn't be staring at me anymore. She, there's a little light on the camera on the monitor and I feel like she's found it and she just like, she knows that when she stares at that light that she's staring at me and saying like, mum, I don't want to be asleep right now. Like, come, come get me. Hi guys, how are we doing? Just checking back into this vlog. It's been a couple of days since I checked in and annoyingly, I'm so annoyed at myself because I was really doing well with this vlog and I was quite proud of how it was going. And then Corinne came around yesterday in my nail tech. She did my nails and I completely forgot to film it. And that was one of the stages of my glow up. So I thought I'd just quickly show you my little nail transformation. Oh my gosh, I'd, I'm still using Tommy's camera, by the way. I found my camera. I completely forgot to tell you guys. Um, I found my camera with the SD card in it. So thank God um, I didn't lose it. It was in my, my suitcase from Dubai. I just unpacked everything bar my camera. It was just like still in there, really weird. But this camera, honestly, it kind of, it really hits. And I don't want to stop using it. But at the same time, sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's not. Like sometimes it, for moments like this, it's really in focus and really good quality. But then when I'm moving around and showing you guys things, it goes a bit weird and out of focus. But anyway, not what I can't need to talk about. Yeah, I had my nails done. They look so so much better and something quite funny happened it wasn't funny at all but to me it was kind of funny um i decided that i was gonna get red nails i haven't had a color on my nails in so long and i was like right i'm gonna get red like i'd made my decision because erin my friend had red nails the other day and they looked so good on her and like in a weird way they looked really like classy and sexy and i was like i need a bit of that so we prepped the nails already to get the little short reds that i decided i wanted and then suddenly i realized oh my god in two days time i'm going on a filter shoot i'm going to spain for a filter shoot um i can't have red nails at all <laughs> If I'd had red nails, I literally would have had to have got them changed before I go because red nails for the aesthetic of filter, it wouldn't have been, it just wouldn't have been giving. So I had to suddenly last minute change to this colour. But you know what? I'm so, so happy with this colour. I've been getting so many questions about it. I just popped a little story on my Instagram about what colour it is because I've never had so many questions about a nail colour. I can kind of understand why though, because it's like the perfect, like super, super pale baby pink it's like almost it basically looks white but it has like this pink undertone to the white i absolutely love it so it's shade pina colada from the gel bottle i'm not going to show you my feet because some people would pay for that stuff i'm not going to put it on here for free but my feet my toes they're bright red they are crimson red that is so handy that this was right in front of me this is bambi's healthcare book but 
the, um, this, my toes are literally as red as this book. So that's probably the most boring story I think I've ever told on one of my vlogs. So I really hope you enjoyed that. I feel like I've still not really spoken about my teeth. Like I went, had this big teeth transformation. I say a big teeth transformation, but a lot of people, oh, <laughs> Eggy staring at me through the window. Um, a lot of people haven't noticed, which is good. I didn't want them to. Like I, I wanted the transformation on my teeth to be like, oh no. Oh, Bubba. One second, Bambi's waking up. I'll be right back. Sorry, she's all settled now. Yeah, hair in my teeth, and I haven't really shown them because, like I say, I've still been getting used to them. And also, I've decided there's a few things that I want to change about them just to make them look even more natural because I was editing some of this vlog back and I was looking at my teeth and I was like, as much as I absolutely love them, I feel like maybe they look again kind of like I've had my teeth done, which is, I don't want that. I don't want it to be like obvious that I've had anything done to them, which it isn't to some people, but then people that know me really well, like Steph, my best friend, like literally the minute I started speaking, she was like, oh my God, your teeth. And I hadn't told her that I was getting them done, but she noticed instantly. Whereas I still want the changes just to be like minor. There's only like a tiny, tiny few changes that I want to make. And Billy from Rue Dental literally said to me, like there will definitely be changes that you want to make and just book another appointment. So I'm going to go back next week and just get, I think I'm just going to get, I don't know, just the front two made a little bit more natural looking absolutely over the moon with them like i already feel so much more confident in my smile and i think that's the most important thing like i was kind of skeptical about talking massively about me getting cosmetic work back done to my teeth because obviously i spoke a lot about the journey of me sort of undoing all that cosmetic work to my teeth but at the end of the day i need to feel confident and i started to feel really truly unconfident like not confident about my teeth and i was like genuinely watching videos back and i was so so self-conscious about how my teeth looked in videos and I would never smile in pictures anymore. I'm all for people doing things when they've thought about it enough that are going to make them feel more confident. And I've always said that with, you know, my whole journey of going more natural and getting rid of my filler and um, all that kind of stuff. Like, you do whatever makes you feel most confident. As long as you've done your research, you're doing it safely, you're of age, and, you know, you've really, really thought about it. If it's going to make you feel, feel more confident, like, I've always said, do it. Like, I'm not against those things. It's just, like, on my journey, like, I took it way too far. Um, it took me a while to realise it, but I took it way too far. I don't know why I've gone on to a massive rant about this. But, um, yeah, I know I'm probably going to get a few comments because I spoke a lot about me undoing these sorts of things. And then it may look like I'm doing them again. But, like I say, it's made me feel more confident. And I stand by that. I'm actually heading to Spain tomorrow um for a filter shoot i'm only literally going for one night it's going to be a very very quick shoot literally there and back just for one day um to get as much content as we possibly can to last us basically the whole summer um i wasn't actually going to go but there's been a few times with filter shoots where i'm just like i don't go and then there's things that i would have done differently or i would have changed because it's my brand and it's my vision and i feel like it's so important that on shoots I'm there because if I'm not and then it's not the way I want it like I've only got myself to blame for not being there and also shoots obviously cost a business a lot of money to put on so they have to be perfect and I wouldn't want to get the images back from the shoot and be like we spent all this money on a shoot and then not how I want them to be even though I trust the team completely I just still like to be there just to like oversee things I'm here with me. I feel like Zoe's actually getting like a better YouTuber than me, <laughs> than me at this point. Like she posts way more. Her vlogs are actually probably better content. No, they're not. No, they are. I, like, probably, I think we post about the same. I do like two a month. When right? we go to Trapper Center now, people come up to Zoe and they're like, oh my God, I watch your YouTube. And yeah, you like it, don't no, you? No, no, I absolutely <laughs> love it, but it's just so crazy for me to wrap my head around. Like yeah. one minute army girl, next minute coming no, for my job. No, that time when we were at the Trapper Center and someone came and asked, asked you for a picture, and then I didn't hear them ask me as well. Yeah, they were like, were like, oh, can I get one with you, Zoe? And I went, Zoe, and you were like, oh, sorry. I was like, oh. <laughs> I, was like, oh. I am just on my way to have some laser hair removal. And I've traped Zoe along with me to film me getting it done. But the annoying thing is, is I've got literally no battery on my camera, even though I was just charging it for the last half an hour. And I don't think the charge has been working. Also, if you're wondering why, actually, you're not wondering why my brows are super dark, because I did film a little bit of me getting my brows and lashes done unannounced so that was me getting my lvl which i always find is a little bit curlier a couple in a couple of days time um 
mean, I know I've also said that I'm on like a lash growth journey at the minute doing UK lash. So me getting LVLs kind of defeated the object. Cause it's not, I personally don't think it's like the best thing for your lashes, but it does make such a difference. Well, as part of the, of the glow up. So I mean, I'm going to do a little bit of exercise this evening. Um, oh, so you're set on that now? Well, I mean, we're won't. thinking about it. <laughs> She's trying to convince me to do a gym class, which I'm, I'm not doing. I was really up for doing a reformer Pilates class, but the, there was no space in the place that we were trying to go to. So that went out the window. Um, but we might do like a little walk. I think or... we should have a speed walk, like a four mile speed to the walk. A four mile speed walk? Yeah. So yeah, I don't, yeah, I do not remember power. the last time I walked a mile, <laughs> let alone four miles. I'm not even joking. I couldn't do four miles. All right, three miles then. Less than an hour. Like if I did three miles, miles, I don't think I'd ever stop going on about it for the whole <laughs> week. I'd be like, guys, I walked three Shut miles. Up. No, I'm not joking. You ran ten miles once. Yes, I know. I ran. I did run ten miles once. I told that to someone the other day. They, they didn't believe no, me. Danny couldn't believe me. Yeah, but when I did this ten mile run, it was like a <laughs> long, long time ago, right? And the St John's ambulance crew pulled me to one side in the middle of the run and said, "We advise that you stop." Like I looked like I was going they to just like, literally collapse. Okay. They were like, listen, we just want to check that you're okay. I've got one bar of battery. Oh, I actually so can't annoying. believe it. I was, I've been literally planning on vlogging this all week. Hold on. What have I got? Don't. No, wait. Right, this charges cameras, this, that one. No, it doesn't. I think it does, but it'll just, you can't charge much. You think you should have to put the camera in. Okay. Just check. But yeah, laser hair removal. I will let you know about the pain, the experience. I'm hoping I can actually get it done because I've got quite a dark tan at the minute because I've just been on a shoot in Marbella and um, so I got tan there <coughs> and my yeah my skin is quite tan at the minute so and they also do say that sometimes when your skin is too tanned that they can't do it so I'm hoping they will let me have it but I'm gonna get everywhere done by what when, do you mean when if your skin's too tan they can't do yeah, it yeah you can't have a tan when you have laser hair removal that's ridiculous no you actually can't and you have to wait six weeks between appointments and they recommend that you have eight sessions to see results oh my god so you can't be tanned for 8, 16, no. 24, 32, no, but 40. I'm too impatient not to do 48 exactly. weeks, which is. 48 weeks, isn't that lucky? No, 52 weeks. Yeah, okay, well, it's like essentially a year. Yeah, you can't get a tan. Anyway, um, I'm going to try and save my battery and put this on charge and fingers crossed we'll get somewhere. Right, guys, so just quickly before the lovely lady comes back in the room, it's not looking too positive, I'm not going to lie. Um, not because I'm too tanned, just because, well, it is because I'm too tanned. My eyebrows are so dark, it's really distracting me. Um, but yeah, basically, it's not looking too positive because. Basically, I'm a little bit too tanned and um, it's been so, so long since I had my last laser session that they look, think today they only want to do a patch test anyway, which is a real shame um, because, and I just feel like as well, I don't even know whether to start the whole process because it's like, now I have Bambi, like to wait six weeks and have to wait between appointments and then not you know have a tan and obviously through summer like we're really lucky to go on holidays and then when i'm on holiday be worrying about not getting a tan just so that i can be hair free i'm wondering like is it even worth it but then everyone says to me like it's so worth it going <laughs> armpit to the world <laughs> hello <laughs> Ooh. what does it feel like it feels quite bad <laughs> what do you mean Okay. Yeah. I, I feel like I'm more used to it now. I just yeah, get used to the feeling again. I'm just going to go back up though. Oh, okay. I don't know if that'll be worse, but... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, gang, how things can suddenly change. I was having a nice pamper moment. Well, it wasn't really a pamper moment because that yeah. was agony. <laughs> And I'll tell you about that in a second, but now Zoe and I are doing a quick, which I'm just quickly get 10,000 steps in. She is dragging me, dragging me. I was ready to go home, have a nice do bath time routine, chill with Bambi, but that's on Tommy now because I'm doing my 10,000 steps, so I'm getting them in. Um, <laughs> basically, the only reason why she's getting me to do this is because there's a meal at the end of it. We're going to quickly grab. We're basically walking to the pub. When you put it like that, it doesn't sound that bad at all. We're walking to the pub. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it would have been made so much sense to bring Bambi in the pram and push her, but we came straight from being at the know, laser place. Right. Okay, so quickly, because I can kind of taste blood right now from this walk. That's how unfit I am. Um, the laser. <sighs> Guys, it's, it's actually... I'm, I'm not going to walk here and say that it's not painful because it is... It is now. I don't know what the other type of laser is like. When it, it's, I think it's called Soprano Ice, and it goes, beep, 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 and it's like a continuous one. This one's basically like an elastic band with a needle on the end, literally flicking at you like 
multiple times and to be fair i thought i was doing a bad job with the pain threshold i was like, i'm really sorry like because i was really reacting and i was like basically jumping away from her but she was like oh no some people cry whether i'm actually going to go through with it and carry on with it i don't know yet because she says that i can't be tanned and i need to be like as pale as possible for maybe a year and a half a year and a half like i just don't personally i don't i really don't know if that's gonna happen as to the pain which is quite bad i'm not gonna lie like it's not pleasant it's fine some areas are worse than others i had my bikini done too that wasn't the nicest um you feel like maybe after you push a baby out of your vagina like nothing's meant to hurt after that but it's it was bad it wasn't nice anyway anyway anything to add i want you to get a step up step on Fun fact quickly as well, just before I put the camera down. So you see these narrow boats here, perfect example there. Our auntie and uncle, they live on a narrow boat like that. And they actually have a vlogging channel where they vlog themselves like traveling all up and down the UK in their narrow boat. And their channel's actually doing really well. I'm like so proud of them because- They get like 100K. They what? get like 100K views on some of their videos. And I'm like, sorry, you're doing better than Zoe. What's cruising, it called? Cruising on the border. It's called Cruising on the Border. Like, you know, they started a vlogging channel in their 50s and it's doing really well. And guys, they're getting brand collabs. Yeah. They're doing brand collabs. Like, they're, they're so good. I'm literally so buzzing for them anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, it smells like the devil's lettuce. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what area we're in, but it's giving devil's lettuce. It, oh, if you know, you know. I didn't really want to finish this vlog in my car, but I want to get this vlog up tonight. And um, so I just thought I'd hop on quickly. I'm literally on my phone because I don't have my camera here. And also, I'm having so many camera problems at the minute. Like my battery packs, not that anyone cares, but my battery packs aren't charging at the minute. Hence why like when I was in the last part of the vlog, I had problems with like the charge of my camera and stuff. Like it's just, um, if anyone's got any vlogging camera recommendations, I've, I currently use a Sony ZV-1, which I absolutely love. Also, this is a little bit of information for the people that always ask me what camera I use. Sony ZV-1 is the camera I use and I love it. Also, if I'm looking like in all different kinds of places, it's because the camera on my phone is here, but I feel like I should be looking here because that's what I'm looking at my phone. But anyway, anyone's got any vlogging camera recommendations? Sony ZV-1 is what I use. The Canon G7X is what I tried to use and I didn't like uh personally um but any other recommendations apart from that i'd love to hear it i've just suddenly realized that the vlog is getting quite long and i want to bring it to a close and try and get it up tonight for you guys i feel like considering this was a glow up vlog i've not i'm not really looking like i've glowed up much like my brows are still um quite dark and i mean you can't even little see my little like new bangs um but i'm really really enjoying the new hair anyway i'm gonna bring this vlog to a close otherwise i'll waffle on for ages shout out to rue dental as well for the teeth work i have a dentist appointment in a few days time to have a few tweaks made just to make them look like extra extra natural they i'm already so happy with them but just a couple of tweaks just to fine tune them and make them look even more natural i go to rude dental not just for my cosmetic work on my teeth but also like my dental hygienist appointments like if tommy needs a filling like he's had a filling there before um tommy's mum also goes there we send her there um it's like our family dentist now anyway guys i'm gonna go now i've got a baby to tend to yeah if you made it to the end of this video i love you millions and hopefully i will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.